Hi friends, it's Mrs. Clark here. I miss you all so much. I'm gonna show you today how to use Google Slides. Google Slides is a lot of fun. Um, we use them for presentations a lot and to put material out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up um, the one that says student. I'm working on Mrs. Clark's demo. So it will look like this. You'll have one slide on the left-hand side. In order to add more slides, you're gonna to go to the plus sign and click what kind of slide that you want. So you guys are probably gonna be using the one called title and body. So you wanna do two more of those. So title and body, it will bring it here on the left side and then go again and click the one that says title and body. Now let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three. You're gonna go back to the first one and on the top toolbar, you're gonna to click background and you can change the color of your background. I'm gonna make mine eagle proud blue. And then I'm gonna click done. Now in the middle, I'm gonna put title. The title of mine is going to be springtime. And then I'm gonna put by Mrs. Clark. Now we know we can change things by clicking on it and dragging it to highlight it. And then on the top, the A with the underline, we have already learned that we can change colors. We can also change the font and the size of font. So I'm gonna make mine look a little bit better. And, in, and then I'm gonna go to the next slide. Now on this slide, I may wanna put some pictures. So in order to put a picture, I'm gonna to go to insert, image and I'm going to upload it from the computer. Oops, sorry. I'm going to insert image and search the web. Then I'm going to type in what I'm looking for pictures of. So bring um, flowers. And I'm going to put two pictures on my first slide. Oh, pretty. I like this one. Click, drag, drop. You may have to resize it by dragging on the handles to make it smaller. Ooh. Mine's a really big one. So I have to make mine much smaller to go on my slide. And now just like we did on Google Drawings, you can um, put things in the middle or to the side. And then I'm gonna look for another one. Another one on the page. And make it smaller. Oh, sorry guys, I'm using a Chromebook. So sometimes my fingers just don't work after I've been on here for a while. All right, there we go. So there is my demo page and you're gonna go to slide two and you're gonna type in some things that you like to do in the spring. I like to ride my bike. And you can put this font text in the middle. So you're gonna click on it and then find the one with the arrow that says align. And that will put it in the middle of the page. I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna change my font style again and make it a little bit bigger. And then here on the bottom, I'm gonna put a picture of bike riding. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what, I think I might just put a picture of a bike. That would be fun. There we go. Now you can also change the background color. So you can go to the background and then pick another color of the background. And then the last thing, we're gonna to go to the third slide, click in the box. I'm gonna align it to the middle before I even start typing. And I'm gonna change my font even before I start typing. So in the spring, I like to ride my bike and I like to plant flowers. Now, in order to get rid of the box, you have to make it four arrow, click on it, and hit space. 
And then I like to plant flowers. And I'm going to find some pictures of flowers. And I might have to resize them. You can put some pictures on. Now you can decide what you like to do in the spring. You're going to decide upon two things that you like to do in the spring. You're going to make two slides. Now, if there's something really specific that you like to do at your house, you could always go to insert image and use the camera to take a picture of something. Maybe you like to go on your trampoline and you want to show me a picture of it. You can click that, or maybe there's something like an art project you like to do and you want to take a picture and put it in there. You can do that as well. And then when you're done, you're going to go back to the classroom page and up here on the top, it says turn in when you're done. All right, friends, I missed you all. I hope to see you soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.